Uh, what will you do if your son didn't want to work? Yeah, this is a good fucking question. So I was sitting here because this is the JY's chair. My girl was sitting right there behind the screen. And um, obviously, we've spoken about this before and that. And I can't remember how the conversation came about. But I was saying something along the lines of like a lot of working class parents, they like to charge their children and that, like, oh, yeah, you owe me, like, not just 200 pounds. Not just a contribution to the household bills that yeah you owe me guap like you are a passive income for me now in it yeah all those years i spent raising your black ass or whatever in it or doing this and doing that for you like it's a chore and that, it? there's certain parents out here a lot of working class parents they feel like their children owe them they don't owe them nothing but to be successful yeah to carry on the lineage yeah to carry on the torch and that the reason why these working class parents feel like their children owe them and that because they were a struggle. Yeah, they struggle to maintain and look after these children now. Why? Because they didn't put the correct provisions in place beforehand. So, of course, if you're broke, of course, if you're uneducated, of course, if you don't have your finances on point, of course, having a child is going to be a burden and that. So, anyway, so I was saying to my girl, like, when I have a son or daughter or both, um, 18, 22, 25, whatever age, and that they won't need to pay no rent. They won't need to contribute. First and foremost, man's not going to be broke. So therefore, I don't need 500 pounds for my child. Why the fuck would I need 500 pounds for my child when my girlfriend lives here for free? I don't need any money from her. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Most men are not in a position where their girl doesn't have to contribute or give their money. Don't get too soon. My girl buys the food. Don't get too soon. My girl does buy the food, yeah? She does the food shop and that. But I don't need my girl to be breaking off 500 or 200 or any money. Yeah, she just buys the food. And that. So if I don't need my girl to contribute, I don't need no money from her. Why the fuck am I going to need my kids to contribute? And that? You know, the only contribution my children need to make is be being on the right path and doing what the fuck they need to be doing. Yeah? You see, when I have a son, when I have a daughter, when they're at college age or uni age, whatever, really, as long as they're going to college, as long as they're going to university, as long as they're working, that's good enough. The moment they stop working, it's not a case of, oh, you need to pay me some money. No, come out the yard. Come out the yard. That's what it's going to be. My children won't need to pay me any money. I don't need any monetary value from them. Eh? I need them to fucking work. I need them to carry on the lineage. Eh? I need them to make me proud. The moment they stop working, the moment they stop carrying on the lineage, the moment I'm not proud of them, come out of the yard. It's as simple as that. There, there's going to be no financial transaction between me and my child and that. Come out of the yard. It's as simple as that. There's no excuse for them to not be working. Obviously, God forbid there's something happened to them and that. That's, that's different. I'm talking about able-bodied, functional human beings. You're not waking up at 2 p.m. Yeah? You're not doing all this bullshit and that. Don't get it twisted. Man and gal for have fun on the weekend. You understand what I'm trying to say? We're not going to be bumming it around and doing bullshit and that. Come out of the yard. It's as simple as that. I won't need no money for my children. I'm not going to be broke. 